All right, just a quick update here. I did start painting all the pieces and I used a shadow coat with XF69. Uh, just FYI, I'm using a uh, Badger Patriot 105 airbrush. This is actually my first airbrush and I like it a lot. Uh, so just want to give a quick update. Uh, the next uh, the next thing I plan to do is a uh, just a highlight coat of white um, over this in uh, to, to highlight some areas and then I'll I'll do the final base coat which is the German gray so continuing on uh, I am continuing with the painting and uh, as I mentioned I am using XF69 for the base coat uh, I didn't show the the wheel, the road wheels, and the sprockets. Uh, actually, the sprockets are I put them on the vehicle, um, and the idler. Um, I didn't show those previously, uh, so I went ahead and added a highlight coat over the uh, the base coat, and I started out using uh, model colors white, but I didn't mix it very well. I used water which might have been the problem. I mixed it in the air gun or the airbrush and it didn't, it, it kind of uh, blotched out. Uh, I then gave up on that and then used XF2, uh, thinned down with uh, lacquer thinner and that worked much, much smoother for me. So uh, put the highlight coat, I don't know if it's supposed to be in the back, so I just left uh, the back plate uh, not highlighted, but uh, I did some areas, uh, mainly in the front. Uh, all this is going to get covered up with, obviously, with the uh, the German gray, and this is what I'm using. Again, Tamiya color. Uh, it's going to get covered up, and then I'm also going to do a whitewash on top of that and uh, attempt at weathering the whitewash. I did receive a set of Frul tracks for the the seven, the the medium, the eight ton, uh, the eight ton uh, tractor, and I did start them, and they were fairly tedious uh, at first. Uh, I kind of got a rhythm as I was doing them. Uh, I did not use the wire that came with the set. I ended up using staples because I had seen this done before. So my camera's not very good, so you're probably not going to be able to see this, but I straighten out uh, one side of the staples and use that. Actually, the, the parts needed to be drilled out, at least one the, the leading hole, but um, I found that if I just kind of used the staple as a drill, that worked for me. Uh, these parts, there's no way my camera's going to be able to show these, but the, the tracks come in two pieces. So you join these two pieces, these two tracks, with the staple or the wire, and then these are the pads, and you glue these on with with super glue uh, after that. So I have not glued on, actually I did, I glued on one of the pads. Shown here, again my camera's probably not gonna pick this up, but I did put on one of the pads just to see what that would look like. I chose that over the vinyl tracks that came with the kit. Um, probably could have done fine with the vinyl tracks, but I wanted to uh, try out frills. I bought frills before for a Tiger, but I did not end up doing the Tiger yet, so I wanted to uh, try it out here. So they also came, the frills also came with these um, sprockets, which the uh, drive, drive, main drive uh, sprocket. I thought that, that was kind of cool. Not sure if I'm going to need that. I have not done a fit with this, but it, uh, basically what I'm supposed to do is take the the um, poly cap and put it in here and use these in place of the ones that came with the kit. So I didn't show these before, but I, I did start in on some tools. Um, I painted the handles basically. I'm going to paint the metal parts with what is it gun metal I'm gonna try that out see what how that works then I'm gonna weather the wood with some wash that I found some wash by AK so 
looking forward to that. I want to see how well I do at weathering, which will be my first time, so this might be interesting. Windshield, I didn't show before. This is actually not painted yet. I need to paint it. Uh, and it did come with a plastic windshield. So that will be glued in later, most likely last. So it does come with decals. My flame camera can see that. Uh, so it looks like uh, some license plates, uh, some other markings. Uh, they're most like, other than the license plates, they're most likely going to get covered up by the whitewash. But um, they'll be kind of, kind of fun putting on the decals. So that's, that's what we have chosen here. I don't know what all these different, uh, different plates are, but that just gives me an opportunity to do some research. So, uh, so I'll put it, I'll be putting the decals on as well. Oh, the seats. Okay, so the seats, uh, I believe when they're in, in the firing mode, the seat's supposed to be up, although I kind of messed up on um, the brackets. They're supposed to be folded in. So I may just put, put some glue back there and work them loose and then fold it back because I, I noticed that when the gun's here, uh, when you swivel, it actually hits the seat. So. I believe the seat's supposed to be up. I'm going to go ahead and paint it brown. Haven't chosen, haven't decided which one I'm going to use, either XF72 or XF10. Uh, this is flat brown and this is kind of a lighter brown. I kind of like the lighter brown myself, but um, kind of it gives it the leather and aged look. Also going to do the seats in the cab with the brown. Went ahead and highlighted the seats as well. So next up will be painting the model with the German Grey and continuing with the tracks. Uh, they're going together a lot faster than I thought. And I'm going to uh, use some burnishing fluid to, uh, as opposed to just straight painting the tracks. I'll probably end up painting them at, you know, with weathering anyways, but I'm going to use burnishing, burnishing fluid. Uh, again, I haven't used that before, so that would be kind of a lot of a lot of first times here. So it should be it should be fun. All right. So until next time, uh, the next update I should have uh, pretty much everything painted, uh, assembled, and perhaps even the tracks burnished and installed, and then uh, we'll go on to weathering from there. And maybe even starting the diorama. So I'd mentioned I was going to do a diorama. diorama. I have an idea what I'm going to do. It's kind of a winter, uh, small dior diorama based on a winter theme. So kind of just like the box art. Uh, all right. So until next time, see you later.